Hello, digital marketers, entrepreneurs, and all of you professionals who are looking to make video content more part of your workflow and communicate your messages through video. Here we have Adobe Rush, and what I want to show you today is just a little bit more about panning and zooming on still images in Adobe Rush. So just to give you a quick kind of overview of what this means, when you go into your media, you can drag and drop an image onto the timeline. I'll just take that for now, and it should fill the frame. There it is. That's perfect. So I'll just X out of that now so we can see more. Now, when I drag and drop an image onto the timeline, it's just going to be static. So I'll play and it's just going to stay there. So what's nice to do is add a kind of a, a small little zoom into the photo or a zoom out or pan across the photo or pan back. And this is actually known as the Ken Burns motion tool. Ken Burns was a documentary filmmaker back in World War II and he got a series of photos from World War II and added this very slow kind of pan into the photos and then it became synonymous with his name. Now, the issue is, right, so... Let's just add it without doing anything else. So I'll go over to my, I call this my six cabinet toolbox. I'll go up to the second for last second drawer from the top and I will click in here and then I will click on pan and zoom and enable that option. So what that's going to do is it's going to add a pan and a zoom to the image. Now, the issue here is that it's really, really fast and it's very, very intense. It's it's just, it's happening too quickly. It's kind of, my eyes are fi finding it almost hard to adjust. And what you really want from these pan and zooms for them to look super professional is them to be almost so subtle that you're almost wondering, is the image moving or is there something happening with my eyes or my brain? If that makes sense. Hopefully it does. So we, we actually can do this within Adobe Rush. So we have the start of the image. So this blue box here shows where the image is starting at, the frame of the image that it's starting at. And then if I go to the end, this is the frame that the image is going to end on. So if we just watch again now, you can see how the start goes to the end square. So in order to make this slower, what I will do is I will either make the start smaller and closer to the end or alternatively, I can make the end bigger and closer to the start. So I might just pull that up there and maybe just over and maybe just move it over there a bit more because that's kind of where the fun stuff is in the frame. So now we're seeing the start and the end are very close to each other. And if I play that, it's really subtle. Now, the lovely thing as well about this effect is that it starts out, It there's a ramp on it, it's what it's called. It starts out really slow, speeds up then a little bit and then ends slow as well, almost like a hill. So it's kind of speeding up as it goes, goes to the centre and then going down as it goes to the end. And that is just a really nice way to add a little bit of movement to your images, but just to make sure that it doesn't look like a software did it, make it look like it's really subtle, really professional just by adjusting that start and end frame of where you want it to be. I hope that helps. Leave any comments in the comment section and I will do my best to get back.